Well, somebody tried to go to work, but he didn't make it for very long, so I'm going to take him back home and get back to work. Howdy, guys and dolls out there in YouTube land. Your favorite little keto goofball diamond. And today is day 1,524 or 5 of my ketogenic journey. I'll ask Google later. I don't feel like it right now. Anyway, it's late. I'm tired. This is going to be a quick one. So if you're interested in watching a daily ketogenic journey from somebody who's lost over 155 pounds, who just keeps pushing and keeps trucking no matter what, even when she falls on her face, you're in the right spot. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell, all that good YouTube jazz that helps this channel grow, makes me happy, and keeps you with me. It's time to rant, rave, and misbehave keto diamond style. So the lights are kind of low because I have a self-induced migraine. We'll, we'll discuss that part tomorrow, hmm. if that tells you anything. Uh, so today was my first day back at work after being in the process of recovering from COVID. Uh, I did quite well. I made it all day. Hubby, not so much. So I was, you know, hell-bent determined I wasn't going to force him to go back to work when, until he was ready. But, you know, when his alarm went off, he got up, he got dressed, he got the car, we, we, we got to work, we clocked in. 45 minutes later, here comes his supervisor going, hey, I'm going to need you to take him home. Uh, he done everywhere. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay. Um, so I, I took him home and went on back to work, um, which I didn't mind. It broke up the day and made the day actually go faster. But... You know, yeah, that was that was not cool. <laughs> Poor hubby. And he come home and he laid down and chilled. And, um, I mean, I made it through the day. I had a migraine. But, again, I'm pretty sure that was self-induced. And then I self-induced it again. We, we won't talk about such things. But, you know what? I thought I'd only lost my smell. Which I'm actually catching whiffs of things now. And I started catching whiffs of things last night. Uh, now I can smell my perfume and a few other things, um, but it's not all the way back yet. However, I didn't think I lost my taste, but maybe that metallic taste early on was actually an indicator because my tongue was kind of tingly and numb and weird, and it just kind of snowballed from there, you know. So maybe it wasn't the coffee. I don't know. At some point, I'll try that coffee again. I still have it up in the cabinet. But... Um, yeah, today I can taste much better. So it's telling me that things are coming back. Um, I didn't think I'd lost my taste, really. Although I can taste like overkill of sweetener, overkill salt, overkill spice. So, yeah. And that, that thing I've been telling you about in my stomach, my son actually says he has been having that. It's like, um, I, I've, I've been describing it like um, acid trying to come back up. But today I figured out what the taste is or what it tastes like. I don't know what it actually is, but I know what it tastes like because I had styrofoam go in my ear and I wiggled my finger in there and I picked it out. And at some point I forgot I had done that and decided to bite my fingernail. Yeah, that taste that's coming up from my gut tastes like earwax. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. That's that's what I'm like constantly tasting it. It's just this weird bile. I don't know what it is. I don't want to call it bile because I know what that tastes like. And that's not what it tastes like. It's just like a, a acid refluxy kind of earwaxy thing, and I don't know how else to explain it. But we're just gonna leave it at that, and you can just kind of imagine that. But my taste and my smell is starting to come back a little bit slow slowly. Um, or my taste buds. I won't say my taste because my taste isn't all the way gone. It hasn't been. But definitely, definitely a noticeable difference. And I noticed it more tonight, bless you, when I could taste um, more stuff. I don't even like the taste of water either. Um, but, but 
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I ate yesterday. I'm going to show you my weigh-in. I don't remember what it is. Y'all going to have to remind me because I need to get on to bed because I is a sleepy girl. I is a sleepy girl with a migraine, and I need to go to bed because I got to do that crap all over again tomorrow. A couple times I did think about saying, hey, look, I got a headache. Can I just, you know, because I'm, I'm not going to get my full pay anyway, and uh, it wouldn't hurt if I did go home, but I did I stuck it out. I'm proud of me. But the headache, oh, that made it woof. That made it woof. <laughs> I actually woke up feeling pretty decent this morning. I was talking to my husband because I was like, damn, all that time off. And I just kind of laid here and squandered it. You know, I didn't feel like doing much of anything. It wasn't too bad, but I still didn't feel like doing much of anything. And I didn't really have much of anything to do except for sit here and watch TV. But, um, I felt pretty good when I went to work this morning. That's why I think the headache was pretty much self-induced. But we'll talk about it. Let me show you what I ate. Let me just do it. 161.6. Doing this whole yo-yo thing. Uh, today is Thursday morning. So this morning I'm just having some regular old better with cheddars. Well, I guess it's this afternoon, but... Salad, lettuce, uh, cheese, pork skins instead of crackers and stuff. Um, what else do I have in here? Uh, bacon bits, turkey, ranch. <laughs> accountability time. This is my accountability, uh, accountability weigh-in on all that stuff. Drop yours in the comment section below if you want to be held accountable. I just forgot to record this. This was three better with cheddars uh, for dinner. I'm I don't know. I don't want much. I don't want nothing. <laughs> Friday morning. It is 161.8. Say daddy. 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 <laughs> Say love you. Daddy. Daddy. Oh. Yes, she's saying hat. She loves your hat. Y'all know what I weigh, and I have no idea. I think I weighed about the same thing as I did yesterday, which, again, I'm not mad at that. I'm going to be mad tomorrow, probably, but I'm not mad at that because that's, like I said, lower than I've been in almost a year. So, rock on with it, right? <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm sorry to cut this short. Wait, there is one thing. I read a comment a while ago. It was on somebody else's Facebook page or whatever. It just said, back to square one, and I'm like, you know, really, when you're doing keto, if you've done keto for any amount of time, three weeks, three months, you're not back to square one. Even if you quit for a year, you're not. Because now your body is fat adapted. Once you get fat adapted, your body goes back into ketosis on its own. It, it likes that state. So if you have been keto for three weeks, three months, three years, the longer you go, the better, the more fat adapted your body gets and the quicker you'll come back into ketosis when you've done something dumb. But you're not back at square one. You haven't squandered all your results, none of that stuff. If you cheated, if you did something dumb, if you gained 10 pounds back, you're not back at square one, honey. Uh, and I know sometimes I, you know, people will ask me, well, you just, you just wasted it. No, I didn't. I didn't gain 300 pounds. I didn't gain 155 pounds rather overnight. It's not squandered. Next meal is your chance to make your next meal keto, and that's it. No time wasted, no squandering. You'll be fine. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
no, no time squandered there, buddy. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I'm getting off here. I'm going to bed. I hope you guys are having an amazing, wonderful weekend because I know most of you don't have to work for it. I just do on the weekend, so sorry, though. <laughs> if you need help, my contact information is below. If you'd like to support the channel, those links are in the description below and an address and all that stuff. And Shashka bracelets and Orgain and blah, 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 blah. Make your next Milkito. Much love. Many prayers. See you tomorrow.